There are loads and loads of crime dramas on television, so I'm fascinated by what Jermaine Greer has said. But you're said. a big fan of The Bridge, I'm a you? huge fan of The Bridge, and I'm a huge fan of loads of these police dramas. And, in fact, I read loads of detective stories and thrillers as so well. So has it made you question? Because I have to yeah, say, when I read this, at first I went, ooh, that's a bit strong. Strong. That's what I thought But then you think, first. well, make, yeah. has she got a point? Are, are well, exactly. You, have you made, has it made so you, you question? You, you clearly love the twists and the turns and the mystery and trying yeah, to find I'm out what's going on. solving the problem. There, so if they took out the rape scenes, but you still had the same drama, oh, we know she was raped, would it still hold the same interest? Because it's confusing to me, this, that apparently... They're saying... She's saying that it's the market that's driving this yeah. because women want this in their well, dramas. Well, women make up the, the majority of the viewing audience for these things, then they wouldn't be on television if we weren't watching them and the ratings weren't so strong. But I mean, it because it's good writing and it's good drama? I mean, I yeah, but you would think women would despise switch off, the you? gratuitous... Because let's make no mistake, rape is about violence and about power. It's not about sex. Mm. And to make it titillating and gratuitous, no, I find it highly offensive. But sometimes... I, if you think about Broadchurch and the way they did Broadchurch, so it was Julie Hesmond House, you didn't actually see the rape. Why do you need to see yeah, the rape? Yeah, but rape also... You know, you might also question why does rape dominate an entire TV series and why do women watch so much drama that's about serial killers? If you just take it away from rape and you look at a series like The Fall where Gillian Anderson was cast as this very almost implausibly glamorous mm. police sergeant in this white blouse. And, and Jamie Dornan. Da Jamie Dornan, who went oh. on to be in um, Fifty Shades. He is the serial killer and he's standing outside women's houses at night and we're all watching this stuff, cast... which actually frightens us at the yeah, same time. Yeah, but they're also casting time and time again these tall, good-looking guys, you know, smooth, charming. And oh, I like just the guy think... James Norton in Happy Valley. Yeah, I, mean, I just he was feel that they're just trying to titillate. And I think it's really frightening because when those lines between sexual violence and sex are blurred, that's a dangerous game. But they are they? blurred in lots of dramas, they are aren't they? But then don't you think they're slightly blurred in our minds? because you're saying they're casting these really good-looking guys like there's no really good-looking guy out there that's ever been accused of rape. You know, I think the problem is maybe what they're trying to get across is you never know who it is. So we, we all have to be well, really... Well, I would like to think that, but I think it's more about trying to get the ratings and trying to get people to have a little well, bit of, like, oh, he's gorgeous. Watch... He's a rapist, but he's gorgeous. But, but, Colleen, do you watch them? Yeah, I, I love all the dramas and the... I, I love real life... Um, you know, documentaries well, you do and all that, that, where they yeah. go into detail, because it, that kind of mindset just... But could you do it without... It out, would you still me? watch it without... Because the question is here, are women enjoying watching sexually violent scenes? I would scenes? not watch it if they said we're taking all those sexual... Exactly. But then that's still what Jermaine exactly. is saying. But she if says, that happened in there, let's see the, let's see the after but effects. Let's not be titillated by something look, All right, look at a mainstream drama like Doc Foster. Then, th then you've got this grey area where they have sex, but it's really violent. We see, sex. I thought that, and that's was, what I call that was designers. blurring the lines. It because was. you couldn't say that that was rape, but there was an yes. element there where it was slightly violent and it was just after nine o'clock. Can I just and... ask, if we want that sort of thing, why don't you watch pornography? I don't think it should be on television. Because, because come on, maybe how many... subconsciously women because don't know that it, this is what they're, actually, why they're enjoying Doc it. Doc Foster was the study of a marriage and the study of these two very powerful characters. And I th what I found fascinating about that is that Simon, the husband, was an incredibly nasty, narcissistic, bossy bloke. So his wife, his ex-wife, had to get one over on her, on him, and the only way she could do it, if you watch that show, nice was that, by yeah. sex and having sex. And then the minute it was over, she went, ha, huh, meant nothing to me. Yeah. And that was powerful television mm. and the women watching would have really related to that. But, but it does that leave a bit of an unstatingly bad that scene because it was it was sort of condoning hate sex. What there is the nothing worse than wrong? hate sex. But look, but a lot of people do. A lot of people talked but, about that scene, said how hot it was, and like yeah. wow, it was really and sexy. And I bet a lot of people had sex sick. afterwards. I think just become I a sick bet, society. Well, I, yes, I we may be that, but we may be not. But also you say, why don't people watch porn? They will have watched Doc Foster and a a lot of people's sex lives would have been spiced up 
as yeah, a result but of that. watch porn on porn site do, why do we have to have it on television why does every, but say these writers porn, have got to be clever say it's porn. Like they'll they say won't it's actually, they say it's actually reflecting life that people get raped i mean they had a male Don't rape see it. they had a male rape on coronation street which they didn't show they, they didn't showed show the after and mm. it was still very powerful exactly. in my opinion you didn't exactly. need to exactly and changed people's opinions um, lots of you uh, t um, commenting on this shania says i've got to say i love programs with a dark twist and a little bit of violence i have to agree yeah. with Jermaine. Uh, Stacey says, I love programmes with violence. Game of Thrones, Sons of Anarchy are my top two favourite that I watch over and over again. I also love horror movies. It's not real life. Yeah. It's drama. We're desensitising ourselves. But we don't even feel these awful things anymore. Interestingly, the one rape scene that everybody hated was in Downton Abbey, and there was uproar yeah. about that. And yet, back in the 1920s, there was loads of instances of powerful men raping servants and them having children that had to be given to other people. <laughs> I want to say so much more about it. Well, because I think people felt that Downton Abbey was a one programme at least where it was a safe place where they weren't going to have to see violence or rape. Well, it was a fairy story. Yeah.